So I thought I'd do a review of this cordless vacuum cleaner just because I'm really impressed with it. Um, it's the Vax One Blade 4 and I will say now I apologise for this whole recording setup. I don't have my tripod so but yeah. Vax One Blade 4. Um, I paid 140 for it on the Vax eBay outlet store. Um, and all it was was a, a damaged box, like the original retail box was damaged. Uh, but the actual unit is brand new, um, and it came with everything. So I believe it retails at something like £250, so it's a massive saving. Um, so yeah, I, I would highly recommend you just go with the, uh, um, the, out, the eBay outlet store and get it much cheaper. So I'll show you what it comes with. Um, I'll start with one downside. It doesn't bother me, but it might bother some people. Is that it won't stand up by itself. Um, I'll just show you. So there it is. And if I sort of let go, it will just slide over like that. Um, other vacuums, you sort of like clip it up like that, and it can hold in place. But this one doesn't. Um, not a big deal. It comes with this wall mount here. It's just a cheap plastic thing, but it did come with the screws. I just don't have them to hand. But you've got your two uh, screw holes there, either side. And then this bit, obviously, just clips into here, and it will hold it upright. Um, accessories. Uh, not really many. You get this. Standard sort of like brush attachment. Um, I don't believe that rotates. No, it doesn't. Not a big deal though. And you get this pretty basic crevice tool. Um, another downside is that the holder here on the unit, it can only hold one item. So you basically got to choose which one you think you're going to use the most. And that just slides on there. Um, in the manual it says what you can do is uh, use this and basically you can use these things on the end to sort of like mount your other appliances, your other, uh, yeah, so just like that. Not the best looking thing, but like I said, I, I didn't, I don't really care about an upright standing vacuum. So um, it's just something to bear in mind. So the unit itself is, isn't too heavy. I mean, I don't know the exact weight, I think it's about 3 kilos. Obviously it's very top heavy because the motor and battery is all here. Um, what can I show you? So I guess I'll start with how you take this bin thing off. Um, so you have like a lever thing here. And then you just squeeze that together. It comes straight out. Looking at this unit. Uh, not a whole lot to say. It has the, these flaps here to stop dirt like falling out when you're walking around with it. And then to empty it, you simply push here, the bottom flap opens and you, you dump your stuff out. As you can see, I've got, got some dirt in there already. Um, uh, the filter is in the top here. I've not actually opened this bit up yet, but you just push to access and it's washable you can just wash it in the sink um so yeah that's that so pop that back on it should go in with a bit of a click but sometimes it doesn't for whatever reason um front display again my apology i apologize for this setup um so yeah you have your on off button that turns on the powered uh, roller on the bottom and that puts it on boost mode. You have your battery indicator level there. So I'll just show you. Yeah. And that's basically it. The battery is right there. All you do, squeeze that and pull it out. So I'm just going to switch to my mobile phone so I can give you a better look at this, so bear with me. In fact, I forgot to do something which I need two hands for. So 
to take this main bit off here, you just push this down. And pull. And the great thing about it is this here, you can attach your tools. So I can just put this straight in. And there you go, you've got a hand vacuum you can do your car with, or whatever. Same goes for this. Plug that in. And you can actually rotate this now, now it's on the end. For a bit more access which is nice uh, I'll show you the the main roller as well so there it is again to take it off push that come straight out obviously because it's powered you have a electrical connection there all the wiring is internal it runs up it and there is your roller and um, it is sort of hinged so when you want to use the vacuum you, you put your foot on this and then sort of like pull pull it back just like a conventional upright vacuum so you can hear it there look um has led lights on the front which i'll show you in a minute uh, a nice clear roller I, I really do like this cover because it makes it so much easier to see if it's got like tangled with hair or it's just like really dirty so you'll know when to clean it um i've not actually taken this apart but to clean the roller how do you do it oh there we go so there's a, a lock unlock button where you get a coin and just turn that and then the roller will fall out so yeah not a whole lot to say about it wheels are a bit sort of plasticky they are rubberized though which is quite a nice touch um oh yeah and also it's sort of it's hinged here which is quite nice and like during operation you can just sort of like tilt the machine and it will steer it like that for you quite a nice touch i thought i don't know how common that is on cordless vacuums but there we go um so yeah, I'll, I'll put it back together and uh, switch to my mobile phone. <laughs> so we're on the mobile phone now and uh, I guess the last thing I should show you is the battery. If you look here, it has a button. Press that down, shows you the charge level. To remove it, squeeze these two tabs. There you go. And the charger is right here. Um, you simply plug that in well, you don't really plug it in you just sort of slide it into place and as you can see you've got your indicator there and it immediately begins charging um, that means it's charging if I remember correctly I think both of these lights go out when it's fully charged that one's just like a test light it will show red if there's an issue with the battery or whatever can't remember the battery specs i think it might be four amp hours or something like that um so yeah and as i showed you before it's just another look at it power button that turns on the main roller that's like the boost mode so what i'm going to do is I've got four of McVitie's finest chocolate covered digestives and I'm gonna smash all four of them up um, and put them in sort of like columns so there's an identical amount for each test so I'm gonna do one test with uh, normal power mode without the roller on then the next one, normal power mode with the roller on, and then basically repeat the test on uh, boost mode, no roller, boost mode, high power. So I'm, I'll set that up now, and then I'll get back to you. So, 
Here we go. I've sacrificed actually five um, chocolate digestives. Uh, the reason being, I'm going to do, like I said, one um, normal power without the roller on, then again normal power with the roller on, and then repeat on boost mode. And then finally for the last biscuit, I'm going to take the main tube off and just plug in the brush and put it on the end of the machine and see how it does. It's sort of like mimicking how you might use it as a car vacuum. So there's a bit of dirt already in here. Hopefully it shouldn't affect the test too much, but if nothing else, I guess it will show you how it would perform in the real world. Because let's be honest, you're not always going to have that completely clean. So um, yeah, let's go. I'll turn that on. The roller is off. Let's see. Okay. Roll it on. Okay, and now the next one, again, uh, boost mode, no roller. So let's do that. just noticed the battery is about to die so I'm gonna pause the test and charge it up a little bit and then continue <laughs> my bad so as we wait um, I don't intend to charge this fully because I want to get all these crumbs off the floor and wrap this up but yeah I didn't actually have it plugged in all the way earlier in the video and um, when it is plugged in this actually blinks as you can see and then you get this display on the top to show you how close it was how close it is to being charged um i started the test on one bar so yeah <laughs> i'd guesstimate i tend to use it on a mix of um boost mode and normal but i always have the um power roller on and uh with that sort of mix i get about 20 minutes out of it i think it's stated as saying um it will get 40 minutes if you have it on normal power with the uh the roller on i believe that's right um so yeah i'm just gonna get this probably to about halfway or so and then continue the test okay so the battery is about halfway charged um so yeah next test uh this is with the roller on and on boost mode so Roller, boost. Wow. Wow. That made short work of that. So, if we look back, this is the area I've just done. This is the area on boost mode without the roller on, which did actually leave quite a bit behind. Um, and then somewhere around here, this was normal power with the roller on. And then finally, we can see here, normal power without the roller on. So, hmm. 
based on those results, I think it has to be concluded that the powered roller makes all the difference and you're going to pick up a lot more on normal power with the roller on than you will in boost mode without the roller on. So anyway, uh, final test, I'm going to take the main tube off and just use it sort of like as you would when you're cleaning your car out. And just something to note, I forgot to mention earlier in the video that this is powered, so you can plug that in there and basically use it. You can use the powered roller with the machine, like just like that. Um, I'm not going to do that for this bit though, because we already know like how the, the roller performs. So I'm going to so do this with one hand, plug that in there. And I guess I'll just I'll spread that, kind of make a little division. I'll do half on normal power and then half on high power. So, there we go, normal. It's getting very full now. Alright, let's bang it on high power. So, there you go. Hope that gives you a, a, a better idea of it. In fact, um, bear with me. So I guess the final thing to do is to empty it. So again, squeeze that. Um, can I do this with one hand? I'll try, hang on. And there we go, emptied it. That's just pure biscuit crumbs. Um, and what I'm going to do at the end of all this is probably disassemble all that and give it a bit, uh, a quick clean out. But yeah. So yeah, to summarize, um, plus points, it picks up really well. As you can see um, from that demonstration, really impressed with the suction power, especially with the powered head. Uh, it's not too loud, it's a, it's a bit noisy, but, but um, I mean, all vacuums are really, aren't they? Uh, it's pretty easy to work with, it's easy to disassemble and empty the bin and things like that. Charges pretty quick, I think it takes about 45 minutes. Battery life is good for a, a cordless, um, especially with one with this sort of performance. Um, and I do like the LED light on the front. Uh, downsides, I'd say, like I said, it, it can't stand upright by itself, but that's not an issue for me. I just shove it in the corner of my wardrobe. Um, and yeah, it's not a big deal. And I guess if I was nitpicking, I'd say you can only hold one accessory on the unit itself. The other one has to be just left on the um, wall mount thing. Uh, and I guess you, I have heard one person online say that this tube split on them. Um, I think I'm right in saying that, or did they say it arrived split? But either way, I guess another downside, you might argue that that could be a weak point of it. But I think that's uh, like clutching at straws, really. Um, like nitpicking in it. And I guess the actual wall mount itself is a little bit plasticky. And I guess the wheels are a little bit, but honestly, I, I am struggling to find bad things to say about it. So, hope that helped. I'm going to 
quickly go over the floor again um, to get the rest of the uh, remaining crumbs from this test up and give that a clean and, and call it a day. So yeah, hope this helped.